I hold the title of Tuatangaloa from the village of Potasi, district of Falealili on the south side of, of Upolu. My other names, of course, uh, I'm more commonly known as Joe, and uh, Annandale is my surname, um, of mixed ancestry, Samoan, of course, and Swedish and, uh, and Scots. I'm a third generation. Afrikasi, I suppose, is the other term. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, that's me. I should start from where the Samoa Voyaging Society uh, came to mind and the reasons behind the formation of the Samoa Voyaging Society back in the 90s. As many people know, you know, the revival of voyaging uh, was, uh, was in Hawaii. The hokulea that was developed by uh, some very notable gentlemen Nainor Thompson was one and, and others. And of course, the, the, the purpose of the Hokulea project was to revive the celestial navigation uh, by the stars. And they, of course, successfully uh, did their research and traced uh, the navigators, those who knew something about celestial navigation in, in the Palau group or back in, in, the, um, in the Marshall Islands. If the Hawaiians can do it, why can't the Samoans? So I formed a little group. And uh, why this part of the story is, is why is, is, is very close to my heart because uh, Fowa Tuloa, Tuloa was, was a dear friend of mine and we paddled together. We represented Samoa in outrigger canoeing back in the late 80s. And he and I started this conversation about reviving um, voyaging because of the Hokulea uh, example, or at least uh, what they did. So we started talking in, about building a, uh, a va'a back then. And uh, he was particularly interested because back in Tokelaus, they still had some craftsmen who were building canoes similar to how the Samoans built them in the early days. The only thing that was lacking was money to do it. It was going to be very expensive. So we applied to UNESCO for some funding under the cultural umbrella. Unfortunately, we were turned down and that killed it. Foa and I kept on paddling, became very, very dear friends and close friends. But the idea of building the bar just got uh, delayed. And it wasn't until around 2007, I think it was, I got a phone call from a, a gentleman by the name of Dieter Pullman. He had attended the uh, Pacific Cultural uh, Festival in Pango, in American Samoa. And the Tahitians and the Cook Islanders had sailed their bar to there. And Dieter had this idea. There was a, a pending conference in Hawaii to do with uh, climate change and you know and the, the 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 health of our oceans. But would it be wonderful if several vakas or baas sailed into Honolulu there for the conference to deliver this important message about the state of our oceans, particularly the Pacific Ocean? People were dumping stuff in the oceans and contaminating our Pacific Ocean. And he asked if I would be interested in the project whereby he would fund the construction of these va'as. And as you see in the back here, that's the Ngawalofa, the va'a that he gifted, he gifted to Samoa. When I was invited, he said, bring somebody else along. And of course, another Tokelaun that was very dear to my heart, a very good friend was John Miski. And I called up John said, John, this is what's happening. I think it's appropriate that you come because I know you have a passion for, for va'a and outrigger canoeing and all this sort of stuff. And besides, you know, my friend Toloa has, has moved on and you would be a good uh, representative for the Tokelau people. So he flew up to Auckland. I, we both met then. We went up and we met with Dieter Pullman. 
and this whole idea of the Ba'as got revived and this gentleman funded seven Ba'as built in Auckland and the Ngawalofa is one of them. Of course, John has been very much involved with, with our uh, the Ngawalofa movement and over the years and of course it's very befitting that I should be telling this story because John has built a va'a of his own which he proudly showed me when on one of my visits about two years ago to uh, Porirua and he showed me with a lot of pride and of course I was so proud of what I saw that day and of course he invited me to he said you know when this is launched I want you to be there and uh, but I can't be there John on this occasion for reasons that you know about but very proud of what you've achieved and uh, I wish you well and, uh, and I know that this project has brought so much joy and to you and, and a lot of happiness and of course does help you link back to, to our ancestors as the Ngawalofa has done the same for me and, and, and you and of course many others. We wish you well and happy sailing and safe travels my friend. So for what?